Assalamualaikum and good day. This is the first video on chapter 3, Thermal Treatment of Metallic Material. In this chapter, we will cover on three sections. The first one is Time Temperature Transformation Diagram or we call it as TTT Diagram. The second part we will cover on Heat Treatment of Ferrous Metal. And for the third part, we will cover on hardened ability of steel. Under subtopic 3.1, time temperature transformation diagram, we will look at product of cooling austenite and factors affecting position of TTT diagram. When we talk about product of cooling austenite, it means that we will study the TTT diagram starting at high temperature above eutectoid temperature where the product is in austenite for our ttt diagram the composition is at eutectoid composition above eutectoid temperature the microstructure is in austenite and then when we cool it down we will see the product of pearl light by night, martensite, and also a little bit on sparodite. Other than that, we will cover also on tempered martensite. To show the formation of this five microstructure from austenite, we will use TTT diagram. Before we begin with the product of cooling austenite, we must understand the TTT diagram first and then we must know how to sketch the time temperature path to produce the specific microstructure. So what is TTT diagram? This figure is TTT diagram. On the y axis, it is showing temperature. In the x axis, it is showing time in second. For product of cooling austenite, we will begin our procedure from high temperature above eutectoid temperature, which is above 727 degrees Celsius. Most of the time, we use around 800 degrees Celsius. Using this time temperature transformation diagram or TTT diagram, we will learn how to draw sketch of temperature and time in order to get a certain microstructure that we want. Later on, we will look at what is meant by this A, this A, this A, and P, B, and also we have M. Right? So generally, A stands for austenite, P for polite, B for binite, and M for martensite. For this TTT diagram, the composition that we use is composition at eutectoid composition. The content are iron and carbon. So how much the content of carbon in the iron for eutectoid composition? To answer that, you can study again my other video so that you know the content of carbon in iron for eutectoid composition. TTT diagram is also known as isothermal transformation or IT diagram or bin S curve. TTT diagram will show you the kinetics of isothermal transformation or we can show the transformation from austenite into other microstructure by cool it down. It shows the effect of time and temperature on the microstructure of steel where you can see when we cool down the austenite and then we let it be at certain temperature for certain duration it will produce different type of microstructure the microstructure that we will learn are the one that i mentioned before we have perlite by night 
mutton side, sparrow die, tempered mutton side. TTT diagram is generated from percentage transformation versus time measurement. A point on curve tells the extent of transformation in a sample that is transformed isothermally at the temperature. Knowledge of the TTT diagram of steel is important in the processing of steel. Even though the composition of iron and carbon are the same, but the microstructure will change when we do the certain cooling procedure to the steel. This microstructure will give you certain properties that you want. We have iron iron carbide phase diagram, right? So why we use TTT diagram? It is because iron iron carbide phase diagram shows no time exists. So for the processing method or processing procedure, we cannot select a proper procedure on producing certain microstructure. So we use TTT diagram. Other than that, it is to show the transformation of microstructure, especially for mountain site by night structure. To determine the microstructure produced in a steel at various rate of cooling. Curve on TTT diagram have a characteristic of C shape that is easily understood using phase transformation concept. You can see the curve of TTT diagram. It is in C shape. This red point we call it as nose. It is easy to see the temperature at which the transformation kinetics are fastest. This is called the nose of the TTT diagram. So how we are going to generate TTT diagram or we also known as isothermal transformation diagram. We consider for iron iron carbide system, the carbon content is 0.76 weight percent of carbon in iron, which is at you take composition and then we take temperature of 675 degrees Celsius. We start at 0% transformation within certain time the transformation from austenite into other microstructure can be seen from this figure. You can see the transformation change by percentage of austenite and then into other microstructure. How we can see on TTT diagram is shown in this figure. We start from austenite unstable and then by time the austenite transform into perlite starting from this green line over here, this green line at here, green line and then when we pass to the green line, it will form perlite little by little. So the percentage of perlite increase by time until it fully change into perlite 100% after it pass to red line over here. After this red line, the austenite already transform 100% into per light. So at the middle one, at the center of this over here, we have 50% of austenite and 50% of per light. The center is over here. Okay. So at the center, the dash line will have 50% austenite, 50% per light. This is how we generate TTT diagram. I show you once again with a better line. You can see we start from here. This dot line start at green line over here. And then when we reach at the center over here, it is the same as 50% line 
in the TTT diagram. And then at the end, we reach the red line. So the transformation is complete from austenite until perlite when we let it be at 675 degrees Celsius for certain duration of time.